how does traveling and living together in a small space such as an RV or a van affect the relationship of couples? This is Blind Views. And that's the way I see it. What's up, Blind Viewers? How's everybody doing today? All right, let's talk about relationships and uh, being a couple and doing it as RVers. Stuck together in an RV van, traveling around together. Does this add any kind of stress to a relationship? Now, we all know that living together in general, it really... Uh, test the boundaries and shows if people are compatible now you can date and go back and forth but you have your own space to go to your own living space you can decorate it the way you want if you're one that's a neat freak you can keep everything nice and tidy and if you're one that goes in and throws your clothes on the floor <laughs> you can do that now you get together and you cohabitate now you have issues because the neat freak and the messy carefree person may not get along so well so now let's shrink this down and let's put it into an rv or even worse a van again we all know that uh, relationships can be trying at times and but with uh, a small space and no place to retreat it makes it a little bit more difficult yeah I know well one can stay in the RV and one can just wander off into the vastness of the wilderness or the desert or roam the RV camp <laughs> campsite for days until they the anger wears off I get it but still you still have that cohabitation that little spot and then if you're a youtuber man that must make it really tough Now I found that people that travel even uh, in separate vehicles but travel together and uh, are in a relationship, they have some issues too. Uh, Lydia of Simply RVing, she comes to mind. Now many, many years ago, <laughs> it seems like a long time ago, but back in the day uh, her and Living Free Mike were a couple. Now they had their little times and uh, then more recent was Lewis of Rolling Earthship and Lydia and their relationship down spiral that unfolded in front of our eyes on YouTube see so YouTube plays a little bit of a part doesn't it uh, after the breakup we saw the back and forth videos it was her fault it was her his fault he said this he's lying no 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 so we get to see it all unfold and they even traveled in separate vehicles now, was it just two people that could get along after so many years of being together? Maybe, but again, gotta ask that question. Does traveling together and living together in small spaces, does it add to the stress? Now, most recently, we hear that Aja and John, they decide to travel, but as friends. So they're still uh, together and they're just gonna kinda go their separate ways and then come back together and travel as friends uh, just kind of left it up in the air to see what would happen that's a bit hard but we've decided um, there's just a lot going in on in each other's lives and that we should just be friends for now and you never know what the future holds John and I do get along we have our moments but who doesn't 
so we'll see how it goes but I do have a choice I mean I can follow him to Illinois but like I said as friends and um, just hang out with him and, until he gets there and then he's gonna be with family well it was nice to see that it was a mutually amicable break uh, they chose to stay friends just not together as a couple anymore so was it just differences in people did they just go through the paces and find out that they weren't as compatible as they thought or was it the stress of being in small spaces together and traveling together so here's what i'd like to know from you guys down in the comments below let me know what do you think do you think rving and traveling together youtube being on youtube or a combination of both has any effect on relationships at all because i'm going to tell you what i think Here's what I think. Now, being a couple, we're tested all the time. And for anybody who, uh, like myself, uh, my wife and I, we worked together, lived together. We were together pretty much 24 seven. So uh, it takes a good, strong bond, a strong relationship to even weather any storm, whether you're in a, an RV or in a house. But now you do add that, that added little thing of, you're in a small space. You can't retreat, you can't run away. And again, I know, yeah, you can run outside, one can stay, but you can go your separate ways. But you can't always. If you're together, you're together. If it's a rainy day, if it's whatever, and you're stuck inside and you don't want to go out into the elements, even little spats can be amplified in that small space. And it can really add an added little bit of pressure to the whole situation. Then you got all the, again, the travel plans. And I watch all the videos and even single people just, you know, getting to the place, checking in, backing in while everybody's watching you, setting up your stuff, getting everything ready and all that. You know, it's, it's, it's a bit of a stressful thing. And it's not like you're just doing it, you know, a couple weekends out of the year or for a little bit, you're doing it all the time you're constantly moving setting up tearing down putting this away putting that away and then especially now during this time when everything's kind of chaotic and there's more and more rvs than ever and more and more rvers than ever and campsites are packed and national parks are closing down and making you get reservations and there's wildfires anyway you have all these uh stresses of where are we going to go when do we got to be there? When should we go? You know, get on this app and look at this and okay, do this, plot the course, call, get a reservation, confirm the reservation. Do, you know, <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a whole lot. And uh, when you're doing this all the time, it can kind of wear on a relationship. And again, I'm not saying that people can't do it, but I just think there's that little added pressure, that little added poke, poke, poke that really tests a relationship and a weaker one or one that really wasn't meant to be maybe it's a good thing because maybe it, it makes you find these things out earlier so you don't draw it drag it all out and uh, so it might not be a bad thing but I do think that it does affect a relationship now I know I'm gonna get all kinds of heat from this oh you don't know what you're talking about and blah 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 and I know I know me and my husband or me and my wife, we've been together for 127 years and we lived all those years in an RV and we just love each other and we never fought ever, ever, ever. And we are just like 
two peas in a pod and <laughs> only sunshine shines on, shines on our relationship i know i'm going to hear that from all the the perfect people but uh it, the proof is right there i just you know the lydia situation there's there's tons more but i'm not going to go and pick apart everybody on youtube because i'm sure i can find lots and lots now speaking of the youtube thing that to me is another added pressure now if you're just out there traveling around that's one thing and you know it's all it's all you it's your own business you uh have your little spat you go to each other's corners of the rvs or one goes outside and kicks the sand around and mopes while the other one stays inside and <laughs> does whatever that's fine but now you have that added thing of oh youtube i gotta make a video we have to let everybody know on youtube that we're not together anymore and <laughs> then again like lydia and lewis we have to have the back and forth tit for tat videos and does that add i think it does i think putting your your life your relationship and everything else already cooped up together making these weird decisions of where to travel how to travel what time should we leave what time should we, where should we go north south east west no i want to go here and you know all that stuff now you got it on youtube now you have everybody sitting back watching your life unfold like the real housewives of the wheeled wonders <laughs> and they're judging they're picking sides they're making their uh, assumptions um because hey let's face it everybody doesn't show everything they only show what they they have to or what they want to and just enough drama to keep everybody's interest and let's face it what's more what's more drama filled and entertaining than someone's life crumbling <laughs> and someone's relationship just falling apart now i know personally living in a in a three-story house much like a boxing match we can uh go to neutral corners i can go upstairs in my little room she can go downstairs or whatever and uh so it's a little bit easier but when you're in a little small van or rv it's not always possible to do that and even if you are in two separate vehicles you're still it's another thing you're driving too fast i'm trying to follow you how do you expect me to follow when you're running yellow lights and i'm behind you you know i'm behind you why didn't you wait for me bam, 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 bam. just little things like that ah did you i i turned left didn't it say i told you you gotta turn left and you went right why are you there just little arguments like that can explode when you're stuck in a little confined space and you're trying to do things and meet deadlines all the time to get here and get there and confirm reservations and all that stuff it just is a little bit more added pressure and stress on something that is already a balancing act and that's face it that's that's what a relationship is it's a balancing act it's a little bit of give and a little bit of take it's compromise so i do think living in an rv or especially a van i don't see how people do it in a van but I think it does put a little bit extra on a relationship and yes can it be done of course it can it's done all the time we see all kinds of people that do it successfully i'm not saying it can't be done but that is a good testament of a good strong foundation a good relationship when you can actually spend 24 7 365 together and still no one's in the hospital or in jail <laughs> so again Tell me what you think in the comment section below. And if you're an RVer and you want to know some tips that you might not have thought of about how to deal with the heat and what to look for in your vehicle, click on the video in the end screen that's coming up next. This is Blind Views. And that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.